is for a reason. All the time you're investing on the youth around here is for a reason. I am a testimony of what, what God can do when you invest your time for him. So I want to encourage you. When we're praying, that's what God placed in my heart to tell you that never ever feel like is this worth? Is coming to JY worth it? Is organizing JY youth worth it? No. Yes. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow. But surely it will come to pass. All the investment that you guys are doing. Amen. Paul says something that when I was when I was a kid, I used to do the things of as a kid. But when I grow up, I do things as an adult. So now that you are not married, you don't have kids, you are spending all your time to service the Lord through JY. I believe in my heart that God is also preparing something beautiful for you. And it will happen like you sit down like, oh man, I didn't think about this. I didn't even pray for this. And that's how God does his things. Amen. Monday is Holy, um, Valentine's Day, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? So today I'm not we have we have a subject we are talking about righteousness this month. But since tomorrow is Valentine's Day, I want to talk about love. Amen. I want to see you, man. I, I don't think drop down the, the, the mask a little bit. Let me see your face. So that if you are angry I can see you. If you are smiling, I can see you. Drop it down a little bit. Let me see your face, Benji. You know? You happy that you're here today? Great. Who's, who, <laughs> who's not happy to be in this room today? I'll take you out and, and get you some lunch to eat, then I'll, I'll take you home. <laughs> Amen. I know we are all here for a reason, and I know that God has a purpose for us. So we are going to talk about, what do you know about Valentine? If you are, do you know anything about Valentine? What is that? Love, fashion. Oh, I see people. Mm-hmm. So, so, thank you. So there was this man called Saint Valentine. When, when he was on this earth, he 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 used to do good to people, right? All that he, he does is to, to, to be nice and express love to people. So that's when they, they came about. You know, we have some twists a little bit to Valentine's Day, but that's all it's about, showing love, okay? So when you wake up tomorrow, as we express love to our family and say, Happy Valentine's Day to our friends, we have to put in mind that there was a man who came who expressed love to people. Okay, but there's another man who came to show us how to love people. Amen. Two things. There's a man who was doing that, but there's a man that came to this world that showed us how to love one another. And the man that we're going to talk about is Jesus. Amen. He came to die for all of us. He used his life as an example to, for all of us. So the Bible says that when we were yet sinners, he came to love us. So love does not discriminate. That's what he taught us. Love is what? Patient. Okay? So love is also unconditional. You understand? You don't need to do something for me to show you love. Oh, yesterday you gave me $2 to buy something. All right? So I should show you love. No. No matter how the situation is, no matter how people can be hostile to us, we got to show them love. Do you also know that love is also the fruit of the Spirit? Okay? How many of you know the fruit of the Spirit? What are they? The fruit of the Spirit. Love. Peace, patient, kindness. I mean, that's the fruit of the spirit. Okay, 
When you talk about fruit, what is fruit? How do you see fruit? Your actions. It's like you see a plant over there. Do you see the fruit underneath or you see it on top? It's on top. Your actions speak. All right? So today... Sorry. Honestly, we are not going to be long over here. I wanted to spend this time to talk to you about love and how we need to increase expressing our love with people. Okay? Do you think that all this hate will go on if there's, there's too much love on this world? I don't think so. So as believers, as young guys, as young women, young ladies, we need to go out there and bear those fruits. Show to people. Although what you did for me, you did against me, hurt, but I forgive you. Because I'm a child of God, and I bear the fruit of love. It's not easy, okay? And somebody stand in front of you, curse you around and say, oh man, I still love you, man. Keep up. It's hard. But anytime you look at Jesus, all right, in the middle of the two sinners, he showed them love. And that's what we need to exhibit. That's how, that's how we need to show that the man who came to tell us how to love, he used himself as an example to us. And the Bible says that back in the days, we, they used to call Christians as as different our, our name were fellowship we were our followers then our name we changed to christianity because our life resembled christ so christ like so as a child of god as, as a christian you need to exhibit what christ like and which one of the most important things that the bible says that if i have tongues of men and i can sing i can i can prophesy and i've i don't have love you are like what? An empty symbol that make noise. See the instrument here, they have the symbol. Make that chan 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 chan. Yeah, you're like that. You, you don't make no sense. So you come to the house of the Lord and you go back home and you, you cannot forgive one another. You cannot show love. You are like that. You make no sense. You make your empty bow. You toss it here, all that you can say. Chan 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 chan. Amen. Today we're going to draw our Bible quotations on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 to 7. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7. Whoever is there will read for us. 1 Corinthians is in the New Testament, guys. I know some of you have been in church for long, the longest time, but the Bible still stays the same, okay? Nothing has changed. Verse 4. So I'm going to tell you what love is, okay? It's not about girlfriend, boyfriend, anything like that. Like you was trying to tell us. Right? When she was explaining, love is not about what we think it is. It's not about just, yes, you know, between two opposite sets. No, that's not what it is. All right? So today we'll go home, show some love. Start practicing those things in the house. All right? If, if your brother or sister, you know, that's something to you, tell the person, I'm sorry. If he says sorry, forgive me. If he doesn't say sorry, so show him some love or hear some love. Right, who's there? All right, read for us, Stephen. Four. Amen. So I want to read from NIV. 
So I, I bought this scripture. I have, I have different Bibles. I bought this scripture because it's a teen's scripture. You know, I love that. It's very detailed. It says that love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. I want to I wanna stand there for, for a few minutes. Love is what? Patience. So if you're here and you're not patient, you, you don't have love. You know, sometimes it takes you it, it, it takes a person to take a deep breath for you to get what you need. Alright? A little bit of patience will get you where you want to get to. Certain things may have set us, yes, we are human. We may react to it, but as a child of God, what I need to do is that let, hold on. Let me retract back. Let me take a deep breath. What is scripture telling me? What can I do to react to this situation? All right? Sometimes as, as human beings, our impulses are so fast, right? You react and later on realize, oh, what did I do? All right? That's, that's human nature. But when it comes to Christian side, that's when you're going to pause back and say, oh, I've been taught that any, any time that I don't understand anything, I need to what? The chat, take a deep breath. You may not agree with me at this moment, but when you return, it came back. Oh, is that what you mean? Oh, but you can react differently where it will break your friendship. You may you don't even want to see him again because of what simple misunderstanding. So love is patient. You get to take your time. As a child of God, and as if that, as we go, to, um, we wake up tomorrow, and everybody's saying Valentine's Day. You know, now the color is red, right? Everywhere, Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day. You ask yourself, what are you exhibiting, exhibiting as a child of God? What fruit do you have? Do you have the love? Can you take a little bit break on how you react to certain things? That makes you different. Love does not... Love is kind. It does not envy. You went to school and uh, you saw your friend having the new Jordan that was released yesterday. What are you going to say? It's nice, guys. You know, it's nice. Your parents cannot afford it. Yeah, they cannot afford it. You don't need to be jealous about it. You don't need to envy about it. Just give compliments and move on. That's all you have? You, you want have, the person have Jordans, you have Nikes, you have this, yeah. That's all you have. You are content with what you have. You are not jealous about what somebody else have. That tells you that, yeah, you love the person. Because um, you did your test and he came in, yeah, you had B, you wanted to get A. But your brother had A and you had B. It's good. Next time they tell you that next time you can help, you can you know, do something to get you A. So you need to compliment your brother. Good job. Don't sit somewhere and jealous about it. Oh, the teacher told them, oh, no, nah, you know, he cheated. You know, mommy, yeah, that's not, no. Don't, don't exhibit those envies. Be happy for one another. That's what the Bible is telling you. Because your turn will be what? Will be absent. That somebody is going to be happy with you too. Amen. Does it make sense? Now, one thing that love does is this. Love does not dishonor people. Okay? You treat... Today, um, this morning, Andrew, we were watching something. Um, shoot. Hold on. Golden rule. Yeah, all of you know the golden rule, right? Golden rule means that you do unto others what you want others to do for you. Okay? You don't dishonor people. You don't talk back behind them. Right? If you do that, people will do the same thing about you. If you have to compliment, yeah, compliment. If you don't understand, yeah, I don't understand. Oh, he think he got all this. Yeah, because he have that. So, as you the golden rule, you want people to respect you, you respect people too. Okay? Um... One thing that love does, love is not self-seeking, okay? 
It's not just all about you, but you see others too. Oh, I think when I give this person one dollar, it will help him and he'll be happy. But I'm also okay, I'm gonna be okay. But don't try to get everything to yourself. It's not just self-seeking. Yeah, you're, you are the only one who knows the answer in the class of what? How about you help people who are struggling in a subject that you, you know that you are the master in it? You seek for others. You seek others' interest. It's not just about you, you, you. I learned this when this week I have to do a presentation at work and one of my presidents told me, it's like, that was my first time anyway, a little bit nervous. And he's like, when you get there, don't just say, I, I, I. Because it's not just you, it's about a team. So that's how love is. Love is about seeking others' interest. Okay? Or else all the teachers will study the Bible and be in their home. And we tell you to also study your Bible and be on now. It's about seeking the interest of people. All right? Any question? So we go on and it tells us about something great here. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. This is very deep. Love does not what? You don't delight in evil. If somebody is doing a bad thing, if somebody is plotting a bad behavior, you don't join the person. But you do what? You rejoice with good things. People come here and share their testimony. You rejoice with them. Okay? Oh, you are sir. Oh, you, you had another role. Yes, we, we are happy for you. You understand? But if somebody is plotting evil, oh, this teacher over there, you know, she's so mean. Let's do this. Let's do this. You don't join those things. Because you, you bear the fruit of love. You only rejoice with the truth. So wherever people are applauding stuff, when they see you, they shake because they know you. You don't entertain lies. You don't entertain bad things. You don't entertain bad, bad plots and evils. But what you do is that you speak your mind. You speak the truth. So you, you, your life is different. When you go to a place... Sorry, but When you go to a place and they are plotting stuff, don't join them. Go to where you can rejoice. Hey guys, let's come together. Let's study the Bible. Let's read this subject. I know we can get A in it. That is what we need you to do as a child of God. Amen. I hope to, today people are going home with something. All right? One thing that love... Verse 6... Verse 7. It always protect, always trust, always hope, always preserves. So love always protect. You are not protecting any bad thing. But when you speak the truth, because the lies that we speak always come back to hurt us. All right? So you, if you speak love, anywhere you are, because you're going to speak truth, when you speak love, you're going to speak truth, you're going to be honest. You're not going to, you're going to be honest to every situation. When everybody is saying this is green and you see that it's white, stay, stick with it. I mean, somebody, as we go home today, I want you to know that God loves you. If you are celebrating somebody who came to this world to show love, we have somebody who came who is bigger than St. Valentine. But for him, he came to tell us how to love one another. 
Bible says that you should love when even it hurt. You know what you have done to you pains you so much. That makes you different. I always tell you that when you, I don't know if you have seen the Muslims and some of them, you know, they go to mosque with nine of everything when they are praying. They believe in something different. We believe in forgiveness. They believe in, yeah, an eye for an eye. You hit me, I have to hit you back. Some of them. Some, some Muslim communities. Not all of them, though. We have different religions. When even you go to Muslim, um, Islamic, they have different religions. One Bible verse that I want us to take home is going to be our memory verse for today. It's going to be First Peter chapter 4, verse 8. First Peter in his uh, New Testament. First Peter chapter four verse eight. The Bible says that I'm reading it because of time. Verse 8. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers or love covers over a multitude of sins. Amen. The Bible says that above all that we do, okay, when we eat, we dance, we listen, whatever we do, we should do what? Love each other. Because love does not know sin. Okay? Love cover multitudes of sin. That's when somebody offends you, say, okay, yeah, I'm so-. the person say, I'm sorry, say, yes, I'm okay, I'm forgiving you. Amen. I mean, somebody? Any question for me? I want you to go home as a child of God. Read 1 Corinthians 13 again. Just think about it. And ask yourself if you have 20 or 30 young people going out there showing love to people, how would the word be? I mean, somebody. If you go out there, people hate you, but you still show them love. Ask yourself, how is the word going to be? And I know that the word is the right. The hate crimes will go down. I spoke to one boy boy yesterday, um, Thursday. The person is bipolar. I deal with so many, because of JY, I deal with so many people, and I've learned a lot from you guys. I was telling Olivia today. Very, very, was very, very angry. Very, very angry. And what I do most of the time is that I make you vent, tell, tell, you know, talk, 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 talk. Try to get the anger from you. Say, okay. Now I realize that what you guys are receiving today. When he was growing up, he never received that. He didn't have a father. Nobody taught him to go to church and listen to the word of God. All that he knows is about being angry, being possessive, either his way or no way. Now look at him. He said, I'm not going to give up on you. I'm still going to talk to you every day. If it's going to be just one word. So count it as a privilege, all of you sitting down here, that you have a great foundation and God is taking you somewhere. Amen. You have, you have the power to make an impact in wherever you are.
Don't say you are a kid. Don't say you are JY. Don't say you are just you are just in middle school, high school, whatever it is. See yourself to make an impact in every every way you find yourself. All the people that you play around, most of them don't have fathers. Some of them have not been to church before. They don't even know the word love. Use today when you go home, tomorrow when you're in school, and you use your scriptures today and tell them what love is. Amen. Shall we rise up and pray? Close your eyes wherever you are. Paul says something that one thing I do, I forget about the past and look towards the ultimate prize. And the prize is when Christ comes in, all of us will go. You know yourself more than I do. You know the level of anger you have in you. And nobody can talk to you. Your parents cannot say a word to you. It's about you or you, sh- you shut the door. That's not what the Bible was telling us today in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I want you to pray at this moment and just commit yourself unto the Lord's hands. Ask the Lord to cause you to exhibit the fruit of the Spirit, which is love. Just one of them. But the Bible says, among all the greatest is love. Open your mouth and pray. Among all the fruit of the Spirit, the greatest among all is love. So you are praying and asking the Lord to grant you that Spirit. Because when you have love, you will be humble. When you have love, you will not envy people. When you have love, you will not be boastful of worldly things. When you have love, you will be patient. Open your mouth and pray. As you bring your prayers to an end, I want to pray with you. Father, we thank you for a day like this. We bless you. We thank you for bringing us together as young people to listen to your word. We pray again, O Lord, that the word that came in today, may we be the doers of the word, not just the hearers, O Lord. We ask that Holy Spirit, as we go out and exhibit one of your fruits, may you guide us, O Lord. Protect us from the evil. Because the Bible says that love does not condone. Love condones sin. And give praises to good things. We thank you for today. We bless you. We soak ourselves in the blood, oh God. Father, may you continue to hide us under your canopy. Protect us from any evil plans, oh God, against us and our families. In Jesus' mighty name. We bless you for what you've done and what you're about to do. In Jesus' name that we pray. Let the saints say amen. Amen. Somebody. D.Y. Can you talk? <laughs>